Well, I'm not saying everyone needs to cheese me. And everybody's doing good on just one person playing so far. I'm encouraging them, if they have a cheese they like, to uh, throw it at me. So, I don't want everyone to cheese. I don't think everyone will. Uh, not a, like I don't want you to just be like, well, I guess I'm drone rushing, like me, a few grape juice boxes in. Um, but... Uh, a lot of people are like, well, he's probably going to ban me if I cheese him. No, no, no. A lot, what a lot of people think is is cheese is really just anyone making units and them not realizing that the game timer has gone on longer than they expected. That's what I found. Like in the Metal Leagues, it's like, well, this guy had three battle cruisers in nine minutes. What a battle cruiser cheese. It's like, no. If that was Maru, he could have... Eight battle cruisers and uh, a, a few dozen marine medevac, um, and also three bases. But it's a matter of perspective. It's like, well, he attacked me before I got my turret ring up. I did open up engineering bay first, but then he hit me with two reapers, and those reapers got behind my mineral line and my planetary and my main just couldn't do anything. No. All right, first overlord, and I'm gonna go out of my way to play, like, once again, not every one of them is gonna be cheesing, and uh, also, I'm just going to play like we're playing ladder. So first overlord goes towards the net, second overlord towards the third. On some maps, players will scout for, like, sneaky attack paths around the edges. But I I usually don't send my Overlord in in alter yeah, alternative pathings because it's unreliable. Like if I was if I was playing like if I was Serral playing against Rainer and I knew he had like a seventy percent chance to do some sort of fourteen pool Overlord dodging ling play, yeah maybe. But Overlords aren't the most agile creatures. So, adjusting their pathing too much is uh, usually a bad idea. Alright, what do you got over here? Creep. Over. He's going hatch first. I'm just going to get myself in a safe spot. Pull a couple off gas. So, this Overlord is a decent location for every matchup but ZVZ. That is because in ZVZ I can just kill it and you get high ground vision with overlords. It's New queen. Uh, a circular cycle. That's what a cycle is usually. But any. Like, so since it's a unit that can't attack, I'm gonna get behind it. I'm actually gonna bring this queen down, which pushes it into a direction that I can potentially kill it a lot easier. Put two more in gas. The second queen. Yeah, high ground vision doesn't work. You can't be lazy on your OVs. Come back to my main with camera location. Get a baneling nest. It's very likely he built a bunch of lings because panic after that. So we'll have to see. But I'm building another queen. I'm just going to stick around to see what he's... Well, there's some more overlords. I guess there's that. That's a roach horn. So, I'm going to get a road for him. I know, crazy concept. He's not researching Zergling speed. Um, something to point out there. So, cancel the Bane Nest. I can just run all over here. His road for him should be done, but he's not building roaches. Look, he doesn't have anything there. So, what I can do is have more bases, about an even economy. I'll get a second gas here. This is the one, like, roaches are pretty decent. I'm going to build a round of links as well. I mean, this guy, roaches are pretty decent against queens, so. Now we got the roach worm. Make sure I don't get supply blocked. Rally from eggs. And here come the roaches. I'm going to get one spine crawler. I might be able to push him away. We'll see. Going to go by towards the third. Fresh. 
I'm gonna get one Ravager. Every second is important. Get a small round of roaches for me. Make sure he doesn't get a third. Corrosive bile lands. Should have the roach count here. Canceling the third. Spine crawler finishes. GG. What a roach cheese. Okay. Now, no, no, no. Option. King V least played. Options. There you go. Now, now anyone join. At least everybody. I yelled at people enough that direction. That's what I get for trying to improvise. Winter cheesed me by telling me to cheese. It was a mind cheese. Yeah. That doesn't. Mm. Okay, now anyone can join. I may have been. I may have yelled at people too much. I'm sorry about my. Okay. I I I am not the uh, kindest streamer out there. Um, I'm no neuro. But Protoss versus Protoss. So, here's the here's the kicker. In PvP, Cheezing would be playing macro because this matchup is uh, upside down world, essentially. So, More pylons? More like out. going one gate expand would be cheesy because then you kind of just die if they attack. Because it's because Protoss units are so good, right? Like, oh, like the forums say. Like, you just. Protoss units are just better units. So, if they have two Protoss units, and you have one Protoss unit, you got no minerals. then you have so less Protoss units, down. which means. Now, like, two Zerglings versus one Zergling, that's not a game winning situation. But, uh, two Adepts versus one not Adept might be. Are you He's got his two gates. If I could steal a gas, I would. Because uh, that really screws up a PvP build, but it's not worth going out of your way for. There's some maps where the gases are like right next to each other, like this in the main. And then there's a legitimate cheese option of going for like um, a double gas steal. Which essentially kills their whole game. He's got a lot of chrono boost saved up over here. He does have three in gas. Does he have three in gas? On each gas, it looks like it. We'll have to see where these chrono boosts get used. I'm gonna do a safe build, which is the stalker sentry. Well, safe, once again, a relative term in PvP. It's chrono boost, chrono boost, chrono... You should be thinking about another pylon by now. Once again, they don't have to cheat. Like, the entire point is there's some ambiguity. Get another stalker. Gonna scout the most obvious spots here. Why two probes? It's not a team. It, this is not a team game. No matter what everybody in 4v4s that you probably shouldn't be playing tells you. The hallucination is for the rest here. Put the stalkers on the high ground. That probe is there and hotkeyed in case of adepts. What do we got here? Show me your secrets. Stalker, stalker, sentry. Battery. I think there's a Stargate. Does he have a Nexus? He does. 
I guess he could have the same stuff as me. I'm not taking the risk, though. It's like, well, he has the same stuff, isn't it? Doesn't it stand to reason? I'm gonna play it safe. So, this is one alone. Oh my god, what a supply block. You see, I'm just trying to empathize with the people. Alright, I know the people. They get supply block. Also, this pylon is... It's a little, like... Probably not a low-level strat, but usually one of the first things you do after uh, getting your warp gate done is warp in a couple of depths and try to poke. Like, if you both expand it, we're going to get up in there, and we're going to see what the... Re do you have the reaction time of, uh, I don't know, uh, someone playing from the moon or just someone playing from Australia, which is only marginally different, but... And that's what these adepts are for. Hmm. I'm just gonna shade all the way by here. He's looking for shenanigans afoot. I'm gonna get my first... Well, that should have been an observer, to be honest. Oh. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, I did the same thing. But we're both gonna kill the adepts. With relative ease. We're playing what we like to call a mirror matchup. So he has a pylon. It's likely he has a pylon somewhere. It's not 100%. But just keep poking. So what we do from here... Oh, I'm going to get two observers. The immortals just in case.
You have engaged the enemy. We have the concave. And there you go. But this is where if I use this Electo Army hotkey, I I don't know if I would have lost, but I would have been behind by a pretty large margin. Uh because if you use the Selecto Army hockey, then he would have just had another base and better upgrades. Because uh, I would be pushing into a person with better economy. But you make him split his units to different places, and at some point he'll make a mistake. Finally, we get one of these. I wonder if anybody remembers they're supposed to be cheesing. You see, this is the downside whenever I play viewer matches. It's like, I'm like, you don't need to cheese. You just need to play safe, solid macro, and that'll get you most of the way to Masters. And then people are like, well, I don't actually know how to cheese. There, there are some players, like, there are definitely some players who get into, like, Diamond. Because they don't understand how bad their build is. Like, the confidence of, of believing that you have a good strategy. Sometimes you can will wins into existence. Uh, whereas, a lot of the times you got, like, Twitch chat grandmasters who happen to play. Um, Taking uh, Big Gabe's advice where, where no, no disrespect to Big Gabe. But he's commentating a professional match. It's like, well... He lost the Reaper, therefore the game is entirely over and he should just quit now. It's like, well, I don't... One, that definitely doesn't apply in the Platinum League. Possibly shouldn't even be building that first Reaper in a Platinum League. And also, in the long run, I don't think that's going to be a huge factor. But you never know. Speaking of Reapers, it is TVT. I probably should have SCV scouted. I honestly like flip a mental coin in TVT because I almost always go one racks expand, which is already great. And then I flip a mental coin. And it's like, am I going to SCV scout this game? And today it landed whatever direction isn't SCV scouting. So now we're here. So I'm going to scout for Proxy Reaper right off the bat, but... Actually going to put a depot right there. And then we got to get back to the ramp though pretty quick. Because otherwise his reaper, especially if he didn't go for a gas first, his reaper uh, could be hidden. So we will see. And then let's get down there and build a bunker because if he goes double gas, which is pretty common like it's on the table in fact it's probably more common than going one racks expand at the higher levels uh, if he does that then he's gonna have two reapers maybe three reapers and a hellion quicker because of course he has the factory quicker so if I get the bunker when the command center is about two-thirds of the way done that means it's more likely I'll have enough to defend. Uh, especially on the ground. I can retreat to the high ground and defend. If I need to defend uh, against. I can hear the spam filter at full energy. I can. Uh, ruining it for everybody. Thank you. Captain Dimitri. For three months. Can I get a question mark at in the chat. Dave GATC Decrepit Cookie Serious Lay as well. The real rhyme. Now, there's a lot of early game intricacy, I guess, in TVT. Uh, where you gotta kinda try to figure out how aggressive your opponent's gonna be. All mirror matchups are a little bit like the middle ground I like to take is I'll send out one Reaper. Okay? I'll send out one. Oh, I'll get supply blocked. 
and I'll send out one Reaper. Getting my 40, 46 depot. It shouldn't be at 46, but my 46 depot at the edge of the main. I usually just like, because maybe he's guarding the uh, high ground. Maybe he's not. We'll find out. He's got, is that a third command center? Wow. But like, I'm like, everybody, do, like, bring out your strong cheeses. He's like, I'm going to play like Bomber and just macro cheese. He's like, all right. I'm just going to build more command centers. If All right, then. You are now in my service. Best stream around smile. So... Hmm. Do I want to go mech from here? Yeah, I'm gonna go mech. Get two more factories. I'm gonna focus, like, the big mistake I think a lot of players make going mech um, is not building enough marines early. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but... You want to have because you can't really build anything else early. Like you're 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 hurting for anything. Uh, Hellions don't really do that. Like they don't have the basic anti-air. Uh, they struggle. So having like ten or twelve marines. So this reaper is gonna distract while this guy comes in with a uh, double turret there. All right. Please fly through. I should be able to get out of there. It got five kills. Put this over here. We did have one Viking. So now I need to take air control. Since I know, like, the reason I'm not continuing... Oh, nailed it. The reason I'm not continuing to build Marines is because he had three CCs. Okay. Um, if I If he was going bio, I would want to have something more to deal with this but he had three cc's quicker than me so let's just get the cyclone out there by the way let's get that third cc involved everybody's escalating i'm going like this is the kind of style that every time i play against it i think is dumb but i still lose to it way too often Literally just pretty much straight up siege tank, siege tank Viking. Um, with maybe a few Hellions mixed in, but mostly siege tank Viking. Like that's that's the gist of it. So. You're gonna get five factories and two starports. Will eventually be the ideal. Control F1 for idle workers is one of the most important things to know. I'm gonna poke up and see if he's actually taken his third yet. Start building depots. So, a lot of the reason you build depots like you do, whatever happened to my cyclone? I have no idea what happened to my cyclone, actually. Uh, so that's um, unfortunate. <laughs> cyclone died without a trace. It's, it's no longer here, but, uh... But, yeah, building depots in just seeming... Well, not really random locations, but anything that forces micro, pretty much, is going to be pretty great for mech. You'll see that a lot, like, when Bomber and TY are playing mech. There's, like... It's not a wall of depots against Terran and Protoss. Against Zerg, it is. Uh, to an extent, but against Terran and Protoss, uh, you just build depots that are pretty much making sure the Marines uh, need to take their Adderall that morning. Otherwise, they're going to end up dying to tanks before they realize what happened. More, and also, we're going to get... Am I really going to go triple upgrade? Why not? Why depots instead of turrets? Uh, because depots give you supply and turrets do not. When you're maxed out, turrets, fine. But, um... 
It's not like the depots are... Like, if the depots die, it's better than a tank dying. And if the depots don't die, then, well, you got supply. So... So what you can do once you have true air control is, uh, I need to get more buffer here, like Hellions and such. Innovation will actually do, like, the medevac style. Um, is go Liberator. But Liberators are, will really give you the stopping power. Just keep getting him to back off. This will be an orbital. I'm getting a couple Thors in case I get caught out of position. I get spot anti-air. But Thors are pretty great. I don't feel the need... Like, because I'm getting such a better unit composition, I don't feel... I should have... My APM is too low. If you're wondering, like, why aren't you out on the map? My APM is too low. I am not good enough to be doing all that. And to keep up on everything. So. Some auto turrets out here. He tried to YOLO in without really understanding the full scenario. And also, part of the strength of this army is he's going to feel like, well, I have bio units, so I should probably do something. And if he tries to do something, and it isn't from a great angle, well, it goes poorly. Like, battle cruisers and liberators are your eventual... Because if, if you really need to dislodge a position, then there you go. I'm gonna get high sec auto tracking and building armor queued up. I'm gonna get drilling claws and all the other fancy upgrades. Another part I struggle with playing just general mech is finding a time to push. CC upgrade done. You remember Let's see, what else what upgrades are finishing here? Do, 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 do. Start landing bases everywhere. Because I usually end up getting a little disjointed. By that I mean a lot of disjointed. But uh, I'm going to unseige. Oh, here we go. This is where the Liberators would come in handy. We gotta come back. He's kinda cracked open some bases here. But we need tanks in position to actually stop him moving forward, so... Go take another base. Does he have this? Yes, he does. Any more upgrades? Need upgrading. More starport. Bomber went for like a ridiculous amount, so. I'm kind of modeling this. This game hasn't been uploaded to YouTube yet, but one of my favorite mech games was actually Bomber. Yes, that bomber, who has come back and showed us that you don't really need to worry. Just get... Whatever you want, and eventually you'll be okay. Get like 15 production facilities, get all of the bases. And uh, 14 command centers and all that fun stuff. I'm 
and eventually they won't be able to stop you. That's the thought process. Stop getting stuck in my base, Thors. Like, if you just build... Way too much for them to ever actually kill. Make sure that guy's whole positioning. I've got some Thors in there just in case. We're gonna take these rocks down and, and move on with our lives. A couple more star forts. Now, if only he remembered combat shield. You know, honestly, the win rates of everyone, including GMs, would go up by like. 10 to 20% if they just didn't forget combat shield. There are grandmaster players who forget combat shield like a quarter of the time. Whether it's the whole game or at least like a significant amount of it. This isn't this is the whole game. This is like worse than usual but like So your marine the way you know you have combat shield is when your marines don't instantaneously die after stimming to siege tanks. They usually take another hit. Or they have a fucking shield. There's also that. Um, that is a giveaway. You see that marine on the on the left side? That's combat shield. If it doesn't have that, you deserve to lose. That's the summary. Thank you, D. Lucas, for 16. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the uh, please cheese me... You know, at this point, it's going to be fully clickbait. When I upload this to YouTube and everyone likes and subscribes at this stage, um, and I say, like, defending cheese, like, the, like that's the best clickbait title. I'm going to... I can't even get people to cheese me. Like, it's not even a little true. The best clickbait titles are a little true, so it's not fully clickbait, right? Like, for example, I just put out a video today that's Scarlet's Ultra... Well, it's called Ultralisk All-In. Because, uh... Obviously, that's better than just saying making ultras or something. But, it's not so much an Ultralisk All-In as a... Oh, I guess I gotta go all in, and I have ultras now. Um, so, technically an all in, but not the truest sense of the word. But, since nobody is cheesing me, and also I was supposed to scout here anyways, but, it's, um... Uh... Mine cheeses. Mine, you know... How many people would click on Mind Jesus? Maybe I could just do, like, maybe we just get, like, uh... Do you even know what cheese is? Question mation, question mation mark? Exclamation point. You got no minerals. Good job keeping that money down. Uh, well, this is something. This is def... It's, it's pretty much like... Alright. Do you... Even cheese to 20 IQ. Oh, you got tw 20 IQ. All right, I made my thumbnail. That, that'll be perfect. Work's already done for the day. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but he went three depot first. So this is Kybra in disguise. 
My strategy. I'm going to mothership probe rush. I'm gonna build a whole bunch of probes. And a mothership. Oh no, he found out our strat. Because if he builds three depots first, I can pretty much do whatever I want. The... I, wow. Well, you know, she looks like cheese is back on the menu, boys. Thank you! Okay, so shield batteries. He definitely went about it in a weird way, but... He also got, like, these Reapers, which is interesting. The reason... The reason I was even there... Was because... Uh... I was gonna take a third so I could do the mothership pro brush better. This, like, this is. He spent so much money trying to hide what he was doing that it, it made it work. At least. Oh no, I lost the Oracle! I mean, that's not the end of the world. You know, how is it... This, what is this, fucking Nexus Wars? His Marines are all perfectly timed. They all came out at exactly the same time. That was beautifully done. That was the only way he was going to get that. So, I didn't get Warp Gate because I was trying to rush Mothership. But this is my point. This is what I'm trying to show to an extent. I mean, it's not the most perfect method. But I wanted to play some viewer games as well. Is... I can be going mothership rush, and this guy can be proxy forexing me, and I'm still more than fine. The mothership rush is not off the table. Can't warp there. Regulations. Um, in in fact, we're almost there. So even though he did what is one of the most spicy cheeses, it's just have a decent build and you can adapt. I did scout a little beforehand. Would have gotten. A little bit dice here if I didn't scout it at all. I do agree. I, but I didn't give him... Let's be, if you're in the Silver League or in the Gold League and, and you go up his ramp and you and you see three depots, what, what we've learned here is do not assume that he doesn't know how to build a barracks. I did not give enough credit. It appears he does know how to build a barracks. I'll give him that. Mothership is coming up. And now we're just slaughtering marines. Set a step, a click, right click, a click, right click. That's how I do it. Sometimes I'll right click on the marines when I want to feel fancy. That's for advanced microing. I usually a click because it's harder to fuck it up. And yes, that is a legitimate concern. A click, you just have to click in the general vicinity, and usually they'll hit the marines you're looking for. Only when you don't have enough stalkers do you really need to target fire. I'm, I'm taking my harvest, my pounds of flesh. My silver heart is screeching, transfer those probes. Well, your silver heart obviously doesn't understand that you can go up to... 24 workers on a base and still have relatively efficient mining and you don't need to transfer but it's red it's red when it goes to 17 probes that means it's illegal now of course i would benefit now that i'm mining out and have only 16 probes down here that is true but somebody proposed this 
where at, instead of at 17 probes, it turns red. At 17 to 24, it turns yellow. And then after 24, which is when it's truly no longer more efficient to mine with any probes there, or three times as many patches as there are, then it turns red. Like, that's it. Like, that's the whole solution. Um, because it's kind of like how, for some reason, disable enemy unit selection is disabled by default. Be and, and Blizzard's... The... I, I brought this up at a community summit at one point. I'm like, that seems like a bad idea. They're like, well, we don't want people to be intimidated. And and I essentially said, so you just want them to be ignorant. And uh, that got a non-answer. Um, Here comes the neighborhood. He transitioned up to the next level of tech. Motherships aren't detectors because uh, because the radar profile of the mothership is so large that it, it is a successful radar block on everything else. Um, it, it, is, it, it creates a blind spot underneath. So even if they were detectors, they wouldn't be able to see underneath them because of that radar interference jamming. Read the lore. Okay, so here's... Okay, wait. Does this work? I'm gonna try... Oh. So this is get... this is what we like to call ghetto blank. Here, hit me. No, somebody hit me. Oh. No, come back. Yeah. Ooh. That way only the splash connects. Unless you're still in range. Ah! Does that, you know what? Ow. Eventually. Didn't I, ha I, I did have an oracle. Oh my God, there's so many little mines. Run, mothership! Fly, you fool! Oh, he has a net. <laughs> um, so, even if you just assume your opponent doesn't have a barret, it still works out. Because, at the lower levels, the simple version is, like, if you're like, I'm getting cheesed every game. Well, if they were good enough, at cheesing to keep you from getting to a higher level then they themselves would be a higher level so if you're in the silver league and you're getting cheesed all day just find like focus on you okay because 95 you're, you might be like well uh those bronze league heroes are bronze i'll tell you right now i'll tell you right now most bronze league heroes are gold most of the people you see responding so incredibly poorly to whatever is happening are around the gold league because that is usually the balance of people who both uh know how to upload a replay and submit it to bronze league heroes but still have games like that that is the summary I'm not saying there aren't bronze leaguers or silver leaguers. In fact, there's been WCS finalists. But everything looks a lot worse. You ever, you ever like, uh, I don't know, given a performance or a presentation uh, or, I don't know, like a photo sh I don't know. And you're, you felt like it went pretty well. And then you go back and watch it, I don't know, a few weeks later. That is all. Now, the thing is, the difference is uh, almost nobody goes back and watches their own replays. People judge based on, uh, based on their own perspective. How, what is the way to put this? 
um, you are now in my people see other people's highlight reel, good or bad, um, though they have their own full feature film. You get where I'm going with this. It's like the opposite of the Facebook effect, where people are like, I'm on the beach on vacation taking swimsuit photos. Um, please subscribe on Patreon for swimsuit photos. Or just watch the Home Story Cup VODs. Uh, and then you're like, wow, looks like they're having a lot of fun. But then, if you think a little harder, they're on Facebook posting photos. So who's really winning now? He's building a bunker. Why is he building a bunker? Yeah. Like, I understand. It, it took... I, I used to think I was good at casting. In my first couple years of, of casting. And going back, I was okay. It actually wasn't terrible. I'm better now. Uh, but, like you said, like saying, um, a bunch, i that's just gonna be a thing. I just power through it, but you get better, and it's real, it was really hard. I did, I should probably do it more, watch myself casting, and there are definitely things I say or do that I could improve upon. Maybe, I don't know, you're not allowed to say that. But, it's very, very hard to do. Just like watching your own replays. It's like, oh my god, I don't want to listen to this guy talk. Maybe that one person who makes a YouTube comment about how they watched the entire hour and a half long video on mute because the caster was so bad. Uh, was right. Maybe. I would be impressed if someone went... Like, if you went through the dedication of, like, I love Zest so much, but I hate this caster so much, I will watch, intently, an hour and a half of video. You know what? You deserve it. To you. And if you're this far into this video, well, one, you wouldn't have heard me say that. Unless you're watching subtitles, which would be weird. Uh, but two... Shout out. All right. That's a shout out. Like and subscribe, or dislike and subscribe. Either way, engagement. That's how we get the ad revenue. So, he's got a 1 1 1. Wait, what was that? That wasn't a fusion core, was it? No. Well, no, it couldn't be a fusion core because it started before the starport finished. It's an NG bit. Yeah. Do, do, do. Oh, it doesn't. I don't know if it works in this mode. I forget how to see what was building through Fog of War. Where's my robot? You Bay. must construct additional pylons. Shut up. Need more pylons, or free up some supply. No, no. So, what was I saying? I was in the. I was thinking about something. I don't think I said anything out loud, though. Let me just reset. Look! Color!
Hey! Get off the stream! Come attack me or something! One v one me, bro, bro. bro. You must construct a dish, Jimmy. Jimmy, get the bars off the. Oh my god. This is a great guide on how to stop cheese, right? Right? So first, you put on some techno music to profit. All right, that's that's it. That's the whole process. Easy peasy, Grandmaster. Sorry, I got distracted from me telling people how to play part. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Oh, 17 tanks. I'm seeing my fucking base. And then I'm going to brag to people that in my only StarCraft game for the last... Well, my only real StarCraft game for the last decade, I, I took Winter 12 minutes to beat me. And he was only raving for like 30% of it. Oh. Oh, that really undercuts my whole point, doesn't it? He was just he was just trying to mind cheese me. <laughs> he committed Sudoku. As they do. How did you get so much stuff so fast? Is that a real question? Have you not seen my easy max out guide? So first, techno music. Two, profit. Like I said. I have guides specifically updated to this year. About, this is what you do to get a bunch of shit if your opponent's sitting there doing nothing. That was not a perfect demonstration of that build, but it was pretty close. It's like Colossi into Charge Lot Archon, but I kind of didn't get the Charge Lot Archon. Yeah, you gotta have a sick gaming chair. You gotta get some gaming gloves. Um, you gotta subscribe on Patreon, on Twitch, on YouTube, and on, uh, what is it? Fan only? I don't know. What is the other thing? What is like Patreon but not Patreon that people use now? I should get that. There's one for music, which is on not 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 Kickstarter. OnlyFans, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got. Oh yeah, very important. So. Those, so very important you gotta have gaming sunglasses so that way when you're protest you can 
throw shade when you throw shade okay very like that's other otherwise how you gonna mind cheese them think about it Nobody noticed. I'm gonna recall it. All right, figured it out. Let's see, shit. Somebody turn the gamma up. hit thank you Akamian and Mag King Midas Akamian gifting to the people what other gaming equipment is critical so have have I been cheesed enough to call this video well at this point um, we're gonna need to have so you guys tell me was this video title clickbait or was it helpful and if you got this far, let's be honest, the title was just there for show. CC upgrade. It's all I've learned, like it's it works on YouTube. As much as I want to be like, well this is when Scarlet has a advanced late game strategy against TY. But TY does a great counter build and gets the upper hand and put that doesn't fit in like 50 characters. So uh, I take I take some cues from um, one of the only other game YouTubers I watch is uh, Squishy Muffins from Rocket League. Mostly because he's very good at Rocket League, uh, and I, I don't watch him all the time. But if, if you ever watch his videos, you'll know. It's like a 28 minute video, and the title is like, Six Ceiling Shot Double Flip Reset Super Ball 720 XD, which describes approximately 12 seconds of the 30 minute video, and then the rest is just him playing Rocket League, which, already good enough, right? But like... <laughs> but that's how it be. There was an attempt. Try to cheese at least. You see, Even this is my point. This is what we're trying to show. I want the horrible cheeses. Because the point is for me to show, like, yes, you can defend them. Even with little to no preparation. Because if your build is solid-ish, I'm going to, because I want mech last time. We'll go bio this time. Like, if your build is solid, it can adapt. If you're going for, like, uh, some, like, three racks, two base play, with no starport, no, it can't adapt. I see this a lot, like specifically for Terrans, they're like, well, if I get a starport, I'll have to control air units. And that just means when I use the Selecto Army Hockey, they're gonna fly into the enemy. It's like, well, you're gonna have to just figure that out, my friend, because the starport is kind of an important part of playing Terran. All right, get some Vikings out. Like 47 SCVs. Wow, simmer, simmer down. Chill out. Control clicking and double uh, clicky on unit. What we got over there? What are you up to? Oh, I think he's on mech. 
He's making it happen, so now I get to show the other side of the story. It's good to know before I commit to my add-ons. Now I'm going to go for two tech labs. Usually be like one tech lab and, uh... It'd be one tech lab, and then the rest reactors. But your healthy mix is probably two tech labs and three reactors here, and also getting supply block because... <sighs> I've got all this. Against mech... You do need to be a little more careful about walling off, because Hellion run buys are the bigger threat. Let's get that armory started. I'm gonna stop with the Vikings, go for the medevacs. I was supply blocked for too long. There are a couple choices. There are a couple choices. You either got the uh, try to get air control, which is usually more reliable, but also harder to pull off, or the uh, outmaneuver. Which is where you just try to go around, essentially. That that kind of scan makes me suspicious right there. Like, why, why are you scanning there? Now that I have Metavax, I'm going to have 1-1, one, one, Combat Shield, Stim, all the fixins. That was just... Um... That was just Hellions, from what I could see there. You get a split second after things die. To spot it. Get the upgrade started. No reason. Well, so I should be sending one marine out ahead because I do not want to be walking in a tank scan. There's some tanks back at home. Fourth base. Just gonna ship click all these guys in. Keep building tank. Like, just because he built tanks doesn't mean we went through like a pick man phase and he's the tank player. It's not how it works. Uh, I think a lot of people are like, well, he's building siege tanks, so I'm gonna have to build something else. No, no, no. Tanks are good units. Build, build tanks. We have several there. The thing is, I have energy on my Raven. So, uh, usually against mech, you're going to get one fight. Um, but, we're going to use the Interference Matrix. Disable the tanks. And that's why Ravens are good. and make sure I'm still building at home here. <laughs> See, as a fourth, get these guys out of here. Move on up, Marines. Work towards the main. Two twos finishing. Let me get a little bit more of this action. SCVs are not gonna win this fight. I can bring the reinforcements up now. You got a fourth command center. Make sure I'm still building medevacs. I can drop onto his tanks now that they're the Vikings are out of position. Which uh Yes, a little fancy, but... <laughs> okay, do we have one more? Not cool? We, hopefully we get a Zerg. You know what? I haven't played Zerg in a while. I'll pick Zerg. You see, with these, I, I always end up getting one race so much. But we'll get, get some Zerg. We'll round it out. Or play Toss, like I did four times already. It's like, well, I wasn't here. Well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't... I forgot to uh, text you back and see if you were ready for the stream to start. My bad.
see, Winter, why do you play random? Besides variety, it's, uh... Now, there's almost every game, there's a 1 in 3 chance I'm playing the race you're most interested in. And, for those uh, who maybe don't play as often, well, you get to see all sides of it. I like to think I'm pretty good. I, I balance wine about all races equally. Unless I legitimately think... Uh, and mostly just make fun of people who balance wine about the other races, because I'm not nearly good enough to really do it. But... Uh, I like to think I'm objectively critical of all sides. Thank you, Barbecue Frenzy, for those 56 months. I can't even count that high. So first Overlord's going straight out. Second Overlord is looking for proxy racks in this location. And that's going to be sent towards the main, the scout, in the main between three and four minutes. Now... Proxy Rex will be in a lot of different places. What Scarlet does is she'll uh, leave her Overlord just chilling here. She's like, well, I don't know if I'll find the Rex, but I'll see the bunkers. Like, if there were a Proxy Rex on time, the bunker would be building right now. In which case, I would have a very rude awakening. Like, that's not out of the question. It might be happening right now. Um, but leaving the Overlord there does give you at least that slight early warning. building. Um, also, another important point is that air units have more vision range than ground units. This is why sometimes you'll see pro players pull back their OV. Oh, they'll pull back their Overlord. Um, no, no, not like that. That that was not a good case, but as soon as they see a proxy, because technically on the ground, it hasn't been spotted yet, even if it was on the same plane, like not on the high ground. That's because they fly. There is no other significant disparity of, like, units having certain amounts of vision. Now, this is... This is a play. This is definitely a play. Of some sort. Uh, here come the Zerglings. What's going on? What's up with this? What is going on here? So, like, he just finished the barracks a bit ago. What I'm going to do, it's like he's doing something weird. Okay, queens. We're going to build queens. Alright, I'm in. So I no longer need that Ovi to scout. That's an engineering bay. Looks like we managed to get a true Bronze League hero in on this. You know, I actually do more damage if I just run him in circles for a while. Does he have enough gas for a planetary fortress? <laughs> Speaking of planetary fortresses... Okay, so here's here's what I can do. I'm just gonna... Go somewhere else. Look at all this. Look at this craziness. Yeah. So he's now spent... You know how much it costs for a command center? It costs... 400 minerals, plus the mining time on the SCV. You know how much it costs for a hatchery? It costs 300 minerals. So I'm going to creep the entire main, which means he won't be able to land here. And then um, he can have that. Like, that's all him. You got this. I believe in you. Uh, we're just going to de-hotkey this hatch here. We'll use it to build a couple of OVs. Yes, technically we can count the drone. Well, it depends on what argument we're making, but... So... What's your plan with the command center here? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going with that command center, my friend? Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well. Oh, we still have one. Old days. I'll play one more as Zerg to even out. I definitely played three as Protoss and... Wait, is that true? Ah, one more Zerg. So, yeah. If he's doing something weird, you can just go kill him. Go fucking kill him. Or, you just creep your whole main and he can't land his command center, which is... The most passive-aggressive way to stop a planetary fortress rush. Don't swear on the internet. This is my Christian StarCraft server. So, with Protoss, you also have a wide variety. Like, people think Protoss is the cheesiest, because cannon rushes are pretty on the nose. Like, cannon rushes, more than anything else, I think, scream cheese. Scream cheese, as opposed to cream cheese, which is very different. Uh, and involves a whole lot of creep tumors. Anyway. Uh, but I think a lot of players just think of Protoss, because part of the reason why Protoss gets so much... Um, a lot of people... Mm, did you see that? Never, ever trust a probe, everyone. So, I put the second OV here. That is to... Uh, putting the second Overlord there is to see if there are any probes doing weird things at my natural. Um, because if there are, then you can see them. Which is a professional tip. Mm -hmm. He's building a gate there. Which, I guess... That's actually quite a play. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna build... So now what, what's happened, though, is he doesn't have any way... We're going to do the same thing as before. I'm just going to ignore it now. Okay. Good job on the cheese. Uh, he, he pulled it off. All right. So now we just move along with our lives. Because his probe is trapped. And uh, all I need to do is attack from the high ground. He spent however many hundreds of minerals, let's say 100, 250, 400, 550, 700, 850 minerals. I did spend money on the hatch, so uh, it wasn't entirely free here. Let's make that clear. You're building the cannon at home. We'll work on the forge as well. What are you doing, drones? Don't be dying to that. I think we have enough to just barely get through this. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be real close, but... It depends on if the Lings want to live. Mm -mm -mm. We in there. So now he has to deal with this problem. I'm just gonna run around his base. So we're now we're left with a similar situation as to the Planetary Fortress game, where he has very little that he can actually do. Honestly, he's better off than the Planetary Fortress guy. I will give him that. He actually did manage to pull something off.
And, uh, I didn't need to get the Zerglings in. Doesn't hurt. It hurts him. He's got a Stalker now. Make sure I don't lose any more random overlords. We are in spine crawl range. Eventually I can break this. Which is of course the intent. He's now realizing. I'm going to use the queen to body block high ground vision. Okay. Speed is on the way. The, the summary with uh, committed Metal League cheeses is don't panic. Don't panic. Because he spent more than it cost me to build two hatcheries on killing one. And once it does, it does not get any additional value. Like, there is not any extra strength coming out of that. He can't go, like, he's not going to walk those cannons up my ramp and kill things. As fun as that would be. I'm going to break it now. Before he gets more entrenched, because this is when things get a little dicey. Like. Mm -hmm. And let me retake my base. But a lot of the times you'll find, like, if you're if you're in the silver or gold or even platinum leagues, somebody might be able to pull off. Like, that was not a terrible cannon rush. It wasn't a great cannon rush. But, like, he pulled it off. He knew to wall off, all that. But they wouldn't be in those leagues if they had much past that. You, as a player who fancies yourself something of a, a macro player yourself, uh, you, you play games that last past the six-minute mark. You played games where you well, hopefully have built over 30 workers. You have a significant advantage. And that's, like, just because of that. Don't panic. That's the summer. And that's all it takes. Even, like, the only way he could have been ahead off that cannon rush is if I had pulled, like, all of my drones and still not stopped it. But as soon as I'm like, well... He got himself into a nice spot. Oh, guess what? You did it. He pulled off the cannon rush. But at what cost? We must ask. But at what cost? And the cost was far too heavy. Could I, could I hotkey my hatches here? Here's those camera locations. I'm gonna get a Hydra den, but... Oh, can I get in? Let me in! It's Floyd Race, yep. Because... Alright, there's a playbook. You've seen Bronze League Heroes before. He's going to go Cannon Rush, and then the two options are DTs and or Void Rays. Um, a lot of the time, if they're not dead, it will be Void Rays, but if the Void Rays fail, it'll be DTs. Because you just got to go through the very short children book size with a lot of pictures, Protoss Book of Cheese. But uh, you can kind of predict where it's going to go from there. I'm queuing up both Hydra upgrades because I'm lazy. I got 56 drones, which is perfectly fine, especially considering he just took his natural. Creep, creep, creeping. Should probably get a few roaches in front to soak damage for him. And also, getting a lurker done wouldn't be a terrible idea either. I'm going to send some OVs out over to the sides here. They'll eventually get there. They'll get there before you know it, because let's be honest, you weren't paying attention to them anyways in the first place. So. And 
And when do I want to go? Let's see. Plus one's done. First Hydra upgrade. I'm going to bring a couple Overseers because there is a small chance he actually fulfilled the full cheese meta. Hello. I'm sure he's microing that Oracle. His whole heart into it. Oh. Oh my god, what a recall. Didn't pan out. At least he knows recall exists, okay? Here comes the neighborhood. Did you need that pylon? No. Old position for everybody. You asked for cheeses. No, oh, like, the fact he, he got the wall on the cannon rush was something. That was, it was, it was pretty solid. Is that, have we run the gauntlet? Yeah, they're, they're, well, once again, if you face something like that in the gold league, you're like, well, he could have done better. Yeah, he could have. That's the point. That's the point. GG's. All right. We've gotten... Don't panic. All right, don't panic. Oh, you are now in my uh, service. Cheesing I is just... Enjoy. One, it's, it's partially a state of mind. I see so many people like, well, I was doing well, and then I got cheesed a bunch of times. Like, okay, so did you lose? Because if you did, it's probably because you panicked, not because they had a top tier. And I say, from from my experience, I've gone through... Um, I don't do it nearly as often now, though I hear it's popular. Like, bronze to masters, etc. But, if there were 1 in 20 players that were actually smurfs, not just players who know how to do one build very well, I'd be surprised. Maybe 1 in 20. Um, if there were 1 in 10 players who actually could execute a solid cheese below platinum they definitely shouldn't be in platinum i mean below platinum uh don't panic focus on are you supply blocked how do you get your production what can you defend and what you can't like if he has six cannons coming in at your natural he just invested three plus hatcheries in trying to kill you including pylons and all that too so just take a hatch somewhere else. Is he cannon rushing your main from the natural and you're a Protoss? Either build some shield batteries and defend, or take another base and recall. Um, either way. Hopefully, at least some of that. Thank you to the people for lining up. Um, for the firing squad. And thank you to those of you who attempted the cheeses, and those of you who played not so cheesy. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed me beating up my fans. And yes, uh, this will probably end up on YouTube. Assuming the YouTube gods allow me to monetize. Because that's what it's all about, right? Uh, like and subscribe and say, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, or, or do. I don't know. Hopefully you learned something. One way or another. Thank you for watching.